Hello and welcome to another Raggis um, beer review. So today I'm going to be drinking this fella from Stone. It's their named Imperial Stout. No actual name on it, it just says Imperial Stout. So yeah, I will read what it says. Um, you voted, we brewed. Ask any hardcore stone enthusiast about our most legendary beers, and you're bound to have heard mention of this this one. Nearly jet black with a fluffy, hot, chocolate-coloured head, a goblet of this obsidian wonder held to the sky could block out the sun or an evening. A redolent with dark chocolate and heavy roast up front, gracefully, gracefully supported by nuances of coffee, blackcurrant, molasses as it finishes. This butte is ageable for years. Some of us are still enjoying our bottles from the early 2000s. Wow. Um, so look at, so to look ahead, what were your stock of, two, of the 2022 edition of the Stone Imperial Stout B in 2037? Legit question. Advanced planning would be its own reward. Well, Raggy Bear Reviews, never. Let's a beer age. Not even my own impy stouts. Too easy going. So we'll crack it open. We'll uh, got this from Low Cost Beer, aka Smiling Great. And I've just noticed on their website that the advent calendars have gone on. 69 quid this year for the advent calendar. So uh, a bit more than the previous years, got to be honest. Um, and at the moment, I I need to see how, how the finances are before I commit to buying anything at the moment. I'd like to do a second advent calendar, but you know how it is. Um, it is difficult, and uh, I'll be brutally honest. So, lovely black pour, as you can see. Ain't seeing out through that. Um, quite a nice dark tan head on there. A good finger of head. And in the Emperor's Glass, you know, it had to be in the Emperor's Glass, this one, of all the beers. And there is a hint of blackcurrant on the nose, funnily enough. Chocolatey, roasty, toasty. Oh, it smells bloody on my mouth's water and I've just had a KFC for the first time in months and uh, four bags of chips two cartons of gravy a couple of chicken pieces a chicken burger and I've still got some chicken pieces for tomorrow because I like them cold so I'll eat them tomorrow cold at work I'm bound to upset somebody I'm not sure I do <laughs> anyway That delivers a lovely roastiness. Oh. Oh. I mean, gotta be honest, it tastes great at this temperature, which is shed, a cold, basically. Uh, at room temperature. Now then, now then, now then. Some dodgy grey-haired DJ used to say I'm surprised years ago he didn't get lamped because I don't care how, how important you think you are if I'd have felt that my kid was being abused by the little you know person he'd have got a good hiding <coughs> somehow It just goes to show you, though, that in, the, in a world where people in power get away with blue murder, you need to look at those in power across the world. And, and in the UK as well, the ones that have been in power, our power goes to one's head. And greed and money also goes to one's head. 
Um, <clears throat> sad, into, sad, sad that the world is um, ran like that. All it needs is a good person. Sadly, not many around. And sadly, some of the better leaders of the generation we've just come through are not in charge of the world anymore. People of true leadership skills. Angela Merkel, Barack Obama, you know, people who are actual leaders, not there, you know, they try to defuse wars and defuse tensions. At the moment, we seem to be surrounded by people who just want to start trouble. Um, some parts of the world, it's just not worth getting involved in. Um, there'll never be any different, sadly. You know, sadly for the people that live there, for the normal people, it's always the no it's always the normal people that get. They're the ones who suffer at the hands of the idiot agenda. You are not a Jedi yet. Mm. I'm Jedi master, Imperial Stouts, Jedi master. No, not quite. Not a Padawan, though, that's for sure. A learner. It does. It's got a beautiful aroma. Aging that for 15 years. Wow. What was the ABV? Ten point five percent. It's not a really not that strong really in the grand scheme of things. Um but delicious nonetheless, you know. Truly um when I seen it on low cost I thought I've gotta try that. You know. And that to me is where low cost smiling great is at its best. Is it with the random beers, the draft stuff? You know, um, just absolutely, for me, wipes the floor with a lot of other places out there. And uh, some of the stuff they get that you don't see anywhere else. Um, I mean, if, if with breweries, some breweries out there, if they're sitting on that excess stock that they need to get rid of because it's going out of date, rather than chuck it, you know, this, these people are a good option. You know, obviously, you're not going to get a massive deal for it. But why well, would you chuck beer? I can never understand any firm chucking beer. Better to make some coin on it than no coin. Oh, that's a beauty, that is. I'm drinking it on a full stomach. It's killing me. Yeah. Got, uh, uh, not many times at this time of night, what time is it, like quarter past nine, am I absolutely bloated, I'm bloated tonight. And uh, Friday tomorrow, although you won't see this till tomorrow anyway. But um, yeah. Oh. It's beers like this. That, that make me want to review beers. There's beers out there that make me not want to review beers for, for different reasons, obviously, and obvious reasons. Uh, but this, true bit of quality. <sighs> I'm trying to remember where Stone are based. Um, oh, Richmond, Virginia and Escondido. California, I presume that is. So, American beer drank by someone who lives in Robin Hood City, also known as Nottingham, or oh, Raggy's Beer Reviews City. <laughs> Not that most people in this city know who I am anyway. <laughs> Probably 99.999% of the population have no idea what Raggy's Beer Reviews is. It's 
really funny. I mean, there's been a few times where people have, you know, in pubs, you do get someone's looking at you sometimes and coming across and shaking your hands. But when you're out and about, you don't get any of that. And literally, it's been a long while since somebody has. So that's a good thing, I suppose. <sighs> it's less likely to happen in the winter months when you've got hats on. Because um, you only see your little face and it's not easy to work out who you are. I suppose when the grey beacon, the beacon of Minas Ragaf goes off, you know, i.e. the grey air, uh, it's a lot easier to um, mech out Uzu. Oh, that black one on the aroma is superlative. The complexity of the chocolates uh, just melts through. The flavour is long lasting, right to the last minute or second of the beer. A lovely swirl around the glass. And uh, they see the lacing that develops the brownie black pour that comes off with its mixing and doing that um, brings off more aroma and obviously as the warmth hits it as, as the warmer it gets by second by second it elevates the flavors that are in the beer And just for a moment there, <laughs> you can see that if I really wanted to to do that sort of beer review, I could. I really could. Do I? No, of course I don't. What you get is real, real ragged. But one of these days, I'll, I'll do it on a beer review and I'll be so out of character, posh, and the people, are, I'll get uh, comments like, what the hell is that? And, um, yeah, I'm, I'm going to I'm gonna have to do it just for bedevilment. And just so people watch it and think, huh? <laughs> mm. Yeah, yeah, it's got to be done. It's got to be done. I suppose at one stage there was talk about me doing reviews for work uh, of the beer range at work, which have been great. You know, I'm sitting at work drinking beer, doing a review for work getting paid to be at work doing the reviews and drinking beer for free it never came off sad sad because i could have gone through their cocktail range uh talked about the beers on offer and uh, you know really showcased um in a way that and and spoke in a way that you know um people appreciate uh you never know. I might talk, talk them into doing it. That's a stunner, no doubt about it. It's a stunner. Um, oh, complexity's off the charts. If you're going to drink it, get a can from the fridge, yeah, or cold shed like I've got. Have so much of it. Enjoy that moment and put it in your house. Put something over the top, stop the, stop anything getting into it, obviously. But let the warmth warm it up. Get to room temperature and then enjoy, you know. The best Imperial Stouts for me are the ones at room temperature because it just elevates the flavour to, to a new level. Ooh. It's a little beauty. I do love it. Um, would I drink it again? 
Yes, 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 yes. Kind of wish I had another one there, but um, massive thank you to the mystery subscriber of the channel, mystery friend of the channel. I hate the word subscriber. They ought to call it friends. A friend of the channel. That's that's better than a subscriber. Subscriber is a horrible word, uh, in my opinion, at least. So would I drink it again? Yes. Out of five. Well, oh well, well. This is a top quality Imperial Stout. Uh, it would taste thicker if it was warmer. Now bear that in mind. So I'm only giving you the cold review. Cold. And wow, it's so, 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 so delivers. Out of five, a good 4.6 out of five. Oh. Stone Brewing, my good American friends. Um, well, not really friends, but you know, I've got a lot of American friends, and uh, that's a cracker. Cheers.